All right, my friends, we are in with a McDonald's versus Burger King cheat day. So I've been wanting to do this video for a while. I got like three items of each from each place. I went to Burger King first, then I went to McDonald's. I'm going to be starting off with some fries first because you got to eat fries first. I'm going to go with Burger King. The way this is going to work is I'm going to score the fries versus each other, the chicken sandwich versus each other, the nuggets, and then the main burgers against each other. So we're going to go... Burger King's fries first. So, we got a large fry from both places. Not bad, Burger King. I also got a shamrock shake, but I spilled half of it on me trying to get in my house. So, it's been a great start to this video. <laughs> it's are extremely salty. Pour some ketchup in here. I do enjoy myself some ketchup. Now, we finished Burger King fries. They were pretty salty. I'm gonna tell you guys which one wins after I try the McDonald's. Let's try these McDonald's fries, a little skinnier. Surprisingly, they're not as salty. At all. Hmm. This is gonna be tough. I'm gonna have to get another Shamrock Shake this week. <laughs> I wore the other one. You got a lot of more fries from McDonald's, I'll tell you that. For a large. Now, believe it or not, I did enjoy the Burger King fries more than the McDonald's fries. I didn't think that was going to happen, but I did. All right, so the fries puts Burger King up one point. I think I'm going to go into nuggets. I'm going to keep it pretty, uh, like, the test standardized. I got barbecue from McDonald's, which is, like, one of the best sauces. Um, so, chicken nugget versus chicken nugget, both in barbecue. This is a Burger King chicken nugget. McDonald's. Burger King. McDonald's. This one's pretty clear, McDonald's. I just think their, their nuggets have more flavor or more taste. Got two more nuggets of each. That sauce though. That sesame buffalo from, or sesame bar tangy barbecue from McDonald's. Looking back, I should have gotten an odd number of items. I got it even, so it could be a tie. I don't know yet. However, I'm going to be going into the American chicken sandwich versus the spicy chicken sandwich from McDonald's. Burger King. It's one of my favorites. Like, one of my favorite things that they have on their menu. But, I'm going to go into that one first. I'll keep the, the McChicken close. So, if you didn't see what this looks like, that's the American chicken sandwich from 
Burger King. I like how it's got tomatoes on it. This is usually my go-to at McDonald's. Or Burger King. <laughs> It's gonna be hard to beat that. <laughs> mm. All right, time to see how that American chicken sandwich from Burger King fares off against a spicy McChicken. There it is. <laughs> Spice level. I haven't had one of these in a while. <sighs> I think it's so spicy. Holy smokes. I have to go with the American chicken sandwich. That was way better. That was really spicy. That spicy to make chicken. Oh, and I knew it was going. I knew it'd be spicy going in, but the American chicken for Burger King. They're up two to one. All right, guys. The final showdown. What I'm really looking forward to is the Whopper versus the double quarter pounder. You're probably thinking, why didn't you go with the Big Mac? Well, I, I enjoy a double quarter pounder over a Big Mac, but I went with the double quarter pounder with Big Mac sauce. I've never had that. So, we're going to see how they compare to each other. Whoa, this is just a lot of meat. Oh gosh, can I handle this? Alright, I'm going to go Whopper first. I love Whoppers, so it's going to be hard to beat. Mm. Some about them. Just hits like no other. It's like the mayonnaise in a Whopper is different. Clear the Whopper out of my teeth. Alright guys, so I saw a video on this on TikTok where somebody got a double quarter pounder, or I think they may have got just a single quarter pounder, and they put Big Mac sauce on it. So, I got that too. Um, let's see how it is. I'm here to tell you how it is. Hmm, let's see. <laughs> it's also a ton of meat. Let me add that. My big mash sauce is good. I gotta go 7.9 on that. I see what you did there, and I like it. Not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna order more of my quarter pounders like this. Last bite, best bite. Holy hair, my. The final verdict, although that was super delicious, the Whopper still comes through and wins. I, I think Burger King, they got the main points. It was three to one. Chicken Nuggets won for McDonald's. But Burger King, everything else, I just enjoyed a little bit more. Some people probably won't like that. That's all right. 
You got your opinions, I got mine. Mmm. The rest of the Samark shake that didn't fall in my clothes is delicious. I'll have to get a full one next time. So if you guys want to see more fast food places, post in the comments below where you want to see next. Alright guys, so, so I'm going to have something that I've never had in a video. And nothing but cakes. Nothing but cakes. No, I'm just kidding. But it's nothing but cakes. So this is their special. My mom picked this up for me. It's the Oreos Cookies and Cream of the month, I guess. And it literally fell <laughs> while I had it in the package. And, uh... Yeah, it's still held together. There's still frosting and stuff everywhere, but... So I got a fork somewhere. A fork. Oh, it's right here. So, Oreos, cookies, and cream. Nothing bunt cake. Mmm. Oh, man. Whoa. What is this delicious icing? I've been missing out on these butt cakes. I got my Stanley shirt on. <laughs> Man, this is good. I can see why they bought so many. There was like eight of these on the counter. None of this flavor, but different ones. I literally dropped mine on the ground like three times. That's why it's all like, that looked way better. <laughs> but they're all smashed. I'm going to go 8.8. .8. This is really good. Like, really good. Too good.